Anytime you do an oyster roast, you gotta make your own cocktail sauce. And of course, you wear the freaking shirt you don't wanna spill cocktail <laughs> sauce on. It's like, hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanna show you how to throw an oyster roast, okay? Uh, on your Kamada Joe. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, get these gorgeous local North Carolina oysters. Um, usually I like stump sounds or topsails. I love the, the brininess. These come from uh, the Outer Banks, um, but, we're at about 600 to 700 degrees, cast iron is in. Let me show you how it's done. Let's get them. So the stage is set, the grill is to temperature. Let me show you the setup, pretty simple. Just a cast iron pan that is brought to temperature. I'm gonna sneak a little butter right here in the back just cause drawn butter and oysters are a brilliant thing. Uh, and then we've got these gorgeous oysters. So all you do is take your oysters Put them right in the pan. Oh yeah. Next, you're gonna take a towel, put it right over top. Come on over here, we're gonna grab a beer and we're gonna pour it right on top. Let me show you a trick to opening a beer, okay? You can take your tongs and hook that little bit right in there and we're off to the races, all right? Now we've got our oysters in this very hot cast iron pan. We've got our towel and we're gonna beer steam or steam roast. Beautiful. Now, while that's going, come on over here. Let's make our cocktail sauce. And we're gonna be at about a five to seven minute uh, steam roast there. Uh, cocktail sauce, this is, this is one of my claims to fame. All right, ketchup. Chili sauce, yeah, equal parts. Horseradish, yeah, about that much. Tequila, just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? Yep. Now we wanna bolden, embolden this with citrus flavor, but we don't wanna dilute it with more liquid, so we're not gonna use the juice, but rather the zest of an orange, a lemon, and a lime. Now, as we're doing this, our oysters are steaming up. If you want just a slightly warmed oyster, you'd take them out at about three, three minutes. Uh, I want them to open up just a little bit just to make them really easy to get into. So we're gonna let it keep going. Right. Beautiful, give it a whisk. And if it looks a little thick, go on with more tequila. Tequila citrus cocktail sauce stuff of legends okay good so we've got cocktail sauce we've got crackers and let's check on our oysters let's take a sneak peek and see if anything's opening yet beer's almost gone but the towel is still wet so we don't need to add another one and we're gonna let them we're gonna let them go but I'm gonna open one up just so you can see where we are and notice how it's starting to open a little bit in the front there. So that's gonna allow us to sneak right in. Oh, that is a beautiful, plump, salty, briny oyster. Always disconnect right there. And then I like to put it back into the cupped part of the shell. And that's, that's ready. Little cocktail sauce, or a lot of cocktail sauce. Cheers. It's like I just dove into the ocean stood up out of the water and licked my lips and then took a shot of tequila cocktail sauce like that is a party on the grill all day long and you can imagine manning the grill just putting these oysters in and then pouring a beer in there one beer for the oysters one beer for yourself you know this is a kickback relaxed lifestyle kind of dish i guess you would call it uh anytime there's an oyster roast i've got the grill rolling i'm putting i'm putting that towel on there and just having a good time and when you're coming from the back of the oyster, again, you be careful, get right, right in there. And it's just a little twist. Pop the shell open, disconnect it from the top, disconnect it from the bottom. Right in there. And if your worries get a little dry, knock a little more beer in there. Put this upside down, put this upside down. Notice we're building that base. Sometimes you get lucky and they're open in such a way you can even just put your tongs in there and twist it. Woo, it's hot. Now you can get your fingers in there and just open it right up. Beautiful. 
one of my first jobs on the coast was shucking oysters and you know there was an upcharge if you wanted them raw because raw oysters are you know a lot more difficult to shuck than than the uh, than the steamed oysters but I had more cuts in two days than I'd had in my entire life and then that was the end of it I never got cut open an oyster again knock on wood uh, but it can be a dangerous thing these little shells are are really brittle and sharp but the meat is just stunning so just spreading a little bit of the love here and I'll leave some of these without cocktail sauce just in case somebody wants butter the crackers are available there um, and this is just a really fun platter you could you could picture somebody walking this around as an hors d'oeuvre or just putting this down you know the problem is no matter where you take this it's going to get gobbled up so quick you almost need somebody to help you start shucking you know it's just it's just a thing um but it doesn't get any better than this you know fresh oysters off a hot grill with some refreshing cocktail sauce or succulent butter and maybe you even do a little bit of both so i'm going to use my cracker here get a couple of drizzles and then shoot this oyster Cheers to you. Mmm. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Again, it's like I just jumped into the ocean, stood up out of the water and licked my lips, and then took a little shot of tequila, tequila cocktail sauce, fishing off with a buttered cracker. Lights out good. I don't know what else to say. I mean, simple things done perfectly win every time, and it does not get any simpler than this. Tequila cocktail sauce, warm oysters steam with great beer and then and then just enjoy yourself you know but you can't do this by yourself this is a this is a communal thing uh and nostalgia boom growing up on the north carolina coast uh i just my heart it makes my heart race okay i love 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 doing roast oysters on the grill uh, folks if you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed shooting it for you don't forget to subscribe like please do leave us a comment and from our backyard to yours cheers and happy grilling